we now need to talk about the treatment of past contributions disallowed. Now just as a quick reminder of what exactly these past contributions disallowed are that we're talking about. It's if you do your section 11 F deduction. So the actual amount, let's say the actual amount of the contribution was 400,000 rand, so you contributed 400,000 rand to a retirement fund. Remember, this is limited to the lesser of the following. 350,000 or 27.5% times the greater of remuneration or the taxable income including CGT or our last limit the taxable income excluding CGT now I'm just thumb sucking amounts here guys you need to use the lesser of it I'm just thumb sucking amounts here let's say this answer over here amounts to 380,000 and this answer over here amounts to um, let's say 500,000 all right and I know this might not make sense over here but just it's an example now remember you want to know how much of this 400,000 rands can be deduct now in this case the lesser of these amounts that I just thumb sucked is 350,000 rands so you can deduct 350,000 rands now you contributed 400,000 but you're only deducting 350,000 rands Now, that 50,000 rands there is a contribution disallowed. Now, if I say bring this up, immediately you might not think, Yo, I know what to do with that. I have to add it to my Section 11A for the next year. Or um, I need to deduct it against the lump sum. Because remember the lump sum calculation, we go lump sums received, less contributions is allowed, less transfers to other funds. Right? Or... There was earlier in the notes we referenced section 10c which said you can deduct it against annuities. So now there's three different places where you have to use this amount. What do we do? Now what I want you to understand is that there's an order that you need to follow and you can find this order in section 10c. The order says you must first apply it against a lump sum. Then you must apply it against section 10 in terms of section 10c. This is when you receive an annuity. And then, if there's anything, you have to use it in section 11F. So that 50,000 rands contribution disallowed goes 1, against the lump sum. 2, if there's anything left, usually there's nothing, against the an annuity. And 3, if there's still anything left, section 11F. Now, you might have some years, for example, let's assume that this is now year 3. You might in year 4 not receive a lump sum and no annuity, then you will only use it against section 11F. So this just tells you if all of these things are in place, if there's a lump sum, there's an annuity, and section 11F, it tells you how to do it. If one of these are missing, then you just ignore it. If both two of them are missing, you just ignore it. So you then just use what's left. Now, this annuity we're talking about here, guys, please make sure you remember your pension fund, Let's say you have, when you retire, there's 3 million rands which belongs to you. You can take a million of that as a lump sum, right? And a million of that as a lump sum means that over there, that type of lump sum. And the 2 million of that will be taken as an annuity. So they'll say you receive 50,000 rands a month after you or whatever the amount might be you will deduct it against that annuity in terms of section 10c. Right, guys. So pay attention to this order. Remember, it's studied all by heart. If one of them or two of them are missing, you just ignore those ones. You only apply it against the ones that you can apply it against.